Weather conditions have made it difficult for either side to shift a front line that has remained relatively unchanged since November. Both sides are waiting for weather conditions to improve, said a Ukraine commander who gave his name as Ruslin. Any major offensives are impossible or at least very problematic. Time is on the side of those defending. A lieutenant in an infantry unit near Bakhmut said rain was a major problem. Our boys stay in the trenches, in the mud and they have to defend the position, said the soldier who asked to remain unnamed. If the weather dries up and stays that way for three or four weeks, there will definitely be a large-scale attack. Fierce fighting continued on Tuesday in Bakhmut. However, Ukrainian military analyst Ola Zhidanov said there had been fewer attacks along the front line than usual over the past 24 hours. This could be linked to the visit to Moscow by the Chinese leader. Why? Because Putin is hardly likely to put aggression on display on the front lines, particularly as China has spoken in favor of a ceasefire and of an end to the war. So this is likely to continue throughout his two-day visit. Russia, which has not scored a major military victory since August, has launched a massive winter offensive involving hundreds of thousands of called-up reservists and convicts recruited from jails. They have lost the initiative practically throughout the length of the front line, Ukrainian military expert Oleksandr Kovalenko said on Ukrainian NV Radio.